that's all I had in my parts bin, so I have enough parts to build a bicycle and we're going to start doing a winter bike build project. So it's a snow bike that is not a fat bike because we don't have a budget for a fat bike, but we're going to have fun with the parts bin today. Today we're going to do a bicycle out of my parts bin. Yes, I accumulate a lot of stuff. I know you guys are guilty from that too. So anyway, I have uh, two frames that I can use. One is my spare GT choker. I use this guy. It's a, uh, I think from 2008. Uh, this was my spare frame. Now remember that also I bent the derailleur hanger. This bicycle have a derailleur hanger, so if I'm going to use this frame for the brake that I want to do, I will need to use a device like this, a chain tensioner, or maybe I will need to use a uh, old derailleur just to keep the chain. I want to keep this project as a single speed, so I need to check out what I want to do. Uh, this bicycle is this brake compatible only, and um, the headset is a small headset and the headset part that I found is not even a full headset, it's like a Franken headset because we are going to do a Franken bike. Uh, it's just a mixture of things. The other frame I have is a... Uh, uh, this used to be a diamond bag. I got this frame uh, for almost nothing, second hand. I think the bike shop never sold it. And I decided to use it as my painting template, learning to paint different layers. And I was I was sanded, I was painted again and resanded and never used this frame before. But this frame happens to have the same diameter for these bearings that I have for a headset. So I think this is the guy. And also another thing that I like about this frame, this has loaded dropouts. So therefore I don't need to use the chain tensioning device so I'm saving one part for a later project. Also this brake compatible. And I have some disc brakes uh, that I can use. I have a cable operated and I just found on the parts bin also an old hydraulic disc brake. I need to check it out. Maybe I need to bleed it and see what happens. But that's going to be part of the video. So we're going to start with part one that is setting up the frame for building. So for that, that's why I separated these parts. I have the seat post, I have a handlebar stem, a bottom bracket, the headset. And now I need to do a pick if I want to use like a rigid fork. I have this nice bone trainer race fork. I used it for a long time. I decided that I didn't want to carry the weight of a suspension fork for a while. Especially because the suspension fork I had was this. A RockShock Dart 1. This thing is heavier than the frame. But I, I will choose the, the fork depending on what fits better. I like the idea of having a lighter bicycle. So I'm maybe going to start trying with the bone trainer. And if the bone trainer doesn't fit the headset length, then I maybe need to use this one. I have a little bit longer head tube. The first okay. thing that we're going to do is to install the seat post on the frame. Uh, you can do it uh, dry if you want at this moment, but uh, I prefer just to go ahead and uh, grease the the seat post shaft here. Since this bicycle is going to be so out there in the winter, uh, chances are that we're going to have some uh, some corrosion going on, and we don't want the the seat post to seize, especially not this amazing one. So, make sure that it's properly adjusted. So it doesn't spin, and now we can put it in the work stand. This is a Feedback Sports uh, work stand. I know you can get the ones with the quick release, but I feel that this one is a little bit uh, more secure, like the it holds it firmer. But now what we're going to do, we're going to do the frame process. So I'm going to start by installing the headset. This is the tool I use for installing the headset. Uh, I decided just to do it a fast forward, just uh, not to go in detail because uh, there is a lot of uh, steps that are going to be here and I forgot to record some of the steps. So other how-to videos will come. So I'm just going to fast forward to the whole bike assembly and then I will show you the end product of the bicycle. So I will try to tag you through what I'm doing on each part of the video here now coming on. So get ready to rock because we're going to start going fast in five, four, three, two. The first part we're going to grease the headset and then we're going to press it in. We're going to use the tool that I just built. So you press it in, make sure that everything is going straight into the head tube. You don't want the headset to be in any angle because that will can produce creaks or can also damage the frame. So after we have the headset, we are going to check out how to install the fork so that everything is there. So I grease the crown, put the spacers, 
install the stem, make sure that I can articulate the top cap so I have enough pressure on the headset. Then I go for the bottom bracket, I always grease the inside shell. Every single tread needs to be greased on a bicycle, so make sure that you always grease them. If you don't grease them, you can use Loctite or another anti-seize substance. So once the bottom bracket is installed, I'm going to put the handlebar because I like to start from the front to the back, so I'm going to install now the accessories. So handlebar is important, I'm going to install brakes, so I need a place to put my brake levers on. So I will continue doing this. Now I'm going to put on the cranks because I also want to make sure that I have a good way to measure the chain and you can put the cranks in funny positions like that just to have fun but install the cranks tighten up to 40 newton meters the crank bolts after that i'm going to try to prep the wheels i remove the cassette and now i'm installing the single sprocket that i'm going to use with the spacers uh, i already tested the measure and now i'm going to measure the chain on the frame after i'm done with that i'm going to install the pedals and do a final checkup uh, on the bicycle install the front brakes and the forks and tighten everything up so now this is the final product the bicycle looks a little bit like a trials bike it's a dirt jump frame actually uh, the wheels are 26ers and on the back you can see my brody frame so now i just need to do a once over every single bolt and just be ready to test the bike okay that's all i have for today and thank you for visiting the greasy bench please subscribe and like this video thank you very much